Forests are a stabilizing force for the climate. Forest always removes CO2 from the atmosphere. So sometimes uh, when we do that, apart from removal of emissions, we also look at conservation and biodiversity. So also forest um, is a natural barrier when it comes to towards, um, climate change impacts. And also when it comes to improving in forests or investing in forests, it also allows us to um, look at um, becoming more resilient when it comes to uh, one, natural disasters or more severe um, disasters, when it comes to cooling of temperature, um, and also when it comes to watershed protection and even coastal protection. The Forest Department is one of the key arms of the government sector when it comes to the environment and therefore plays an important role in climate change mitigation and adaptation as mandated in the National Climate Change Policy, Strategy and Action Plan. The department focuses on the sustainable management of Belize's forest resources for the long-term benefit of people. This includes regulating national forest extraction, Currently, we have um, at the national scale approximately 61% um, forest cover. And about 40% of our national territory is in some form of protection status uh, when it comes to our national uh, forest restoration strategy, when it comes to our forest reference level, our national determined contributions, our biannual update reports. Um, and of course, when it comes to the forest department strategy, these are key. Uh, when we capitalize through Red Plus as a means to place even greater value on our forests. Um, and to continue investing in forest management and also clim climate smart agriculture, agroforestry restoration. Deforestation and land use change has made the country more aware of how climate change is affecting us as a people in terms of food and water security and vulnerability to natural disasters. The National Protected Areas System and Corridor Protection are among strategies that have helped with the preservation of forests. Sustainable forest management activities have allowed the country to maintain its carbon and timber stocks. Forest is always more than trees. Um, what does that mean? It means that it's not only standing trees. Of course, it includes a, a whole network of um, reliability from, from the local communities, to the, to, the, to the communities at the rural and also looking at the urban state. We all um, benefit or uh, uh, actually depend on the forest in some way or another, directly or indirectly. That symbiotic relationship between the forest and people may not be readily recognized in urban areas, but in rural communities and among indigenous people who are traditionally dependent on the environment for food security and their survival, the importance of forests and the impacts of climate change are tangible. We harvest lumber from the forest, we harvest jipijapa to make baskets and to eat. The forest provides us with food, shelter and medicine, but most importantly it gives us our identity. When the creeks dry up, there's less water. When, when it's too dry, there's, there's less rain for their plants. And just for them as well, because you cook with water, you clean yourself with water, you, you, we need water, we also consume it. And without water, the crops die, so what are we gonna eat? And the animals go farther in the forest to find more water, so what do we eat? We, the Mayan women, depend on the creeks, rivers, and streams for washing. But now, when the climate is changing, it means that the creek is also dying out, so it's very difficult for us to find creeks that is good for washing. Indigenous communities for millennia have uh, been caretakers of the land, the forests, of the waterways that they live, in, live on. In essence, they live with the land, they live with the biodiversity population. Um, uh, some of our community members will say it is our hardware, it is our, our, our grocery uh, store. So it provides everything. For the indigenous Maya people in southern Belize, they call themselves Ral Choch, children of the earth, because the earth, as their mother, provides sustenance, care, and medicine for their well being. Pablo Miss says that there are many internal and external threats 
including the global climate challenge. You'll hear from, from our parents or our fathers, from us farmers, that the farming season is no longer predictable. We are a people that plant according to the studying of the, the, the planting season. Sometimes during what we call the dry season, we have massive floods. And during the, 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 the rainy season, we have a, a, a tremendous heat. So for them, the integrity of the biodiversity must be maintained. We are constantly planting because we're doing more than planting. As, as some elders would say, we are shading the land, but we're also shading it in a way where we're able to get food from it or resources that we're able to use in a way that sustains us, but also cares for the land. by being able to engage with the Maya people in a way that is constructive, that in a way that is empowering. It will allow for um, climate change mitigation in the Maya communities to unlock the innovativeness, the creativeness of people in terms of the possible solutions that can come about. Adopting to climate change is a tremendous challenge and requires a surge of support. That responsibility falls with government, civil society, and the community. So forest is really important for us as Belizeans and we need to protect it. Uh, we need to not only protect it, but also encourage Belizeans to uh, restore forest areas. Um, that way we can be secure or contribute towards climate change at the national and global level. <laughs>